And here we are continuing Star Trek month. Today, it's time we get into a very, hold on. <coughs> Sorry. Anyway, today we get to be, we get the chance to talk a little bit about a different Star Trek show. Ah, goddamn nose. Anyway, the show Star Trek The Next Generation is a show that I really like in terms of story, characters, action, themes. But the real part of the real true heart of Star Trek The Next Generation comes from its captain of the Enterprise, Jean-Luc Picard. And now it's time we get to arguably one of the greatest debates any two Star Trek fans can have. Who is the better captain? James T. Kirk of the original series or Jean-Luc Picard of The Next Generation? Now this really won't be a round versus round kind of comparison, but this is still important to go over. So, in order to get a good grasp on how good each these two captains are, we have to keep in mind the kind of shows they come from. With the original show, it was very well liked by fans, and there is good stuff in it, with some impressively well done stuff every now and then. But overall, the show, it's kind of campy, it's really low budget, really low budget. And, while the acting from everyone is certainly entertaining, it's not exactly Oscar worthy. And some of, and that does shine th through with the performance of James Kirk, played by William Shatner, all the way back in the 1960s. Now, when it comes to the next generation, this has a bigger budget. The people seem to take this a little bit more seriously on screen and behind the scenes. Not saying that they weren't taking it seriously in the original show. There was stuff they did really well. But overall, comparatively speaking, The Next Generation does seem to be the well, the more polished show. The more mainstream of the two. And that part that comes with the performance of Patrick Stewart as Captain Jean-Luc Picard. William Shatner is the kind of captain that will be on the planet whenever he can and gets into all sorts of action. John Luc Picard, while well, he's certainly is part of the action, is not really someone that ends up going down to as many planets or onto that much enemy spacecraft on a, some sort of espionage mission. So that can be a criticism launched against John Luc Picard, saying he's not really much in the field that much. However, I think it's fair to point out that that's probably due to some restrictions and regulations created by the Federation since Captain Kirk's time. Because let's be honest, if Captain Kirk is involved in some sort of battle or conflict, there's a very good chance he was somehow responsible for that conflict being created in the first place. And... Kirk is someone that really relies on a few key members of his crew in any given situation, mainly McCoy, Spock, those kinds of people. With Picard, he does recognize that some pe members of his crew are more suited for certain tasks than others, but he ultimately relies on the majority of his crew to help through any given situation, using the talents of everyone on his crew as opposed to Kirk's method of using a few people for most situations. And Picard seems to be, honestly, a much better diplomat than Kirk ever was. All my thoughts, all my memories of Kirk on the original show involve him punching something or someone. Or again, some sort of fight. Not very diplomatic for a future that's apparently supposed to be, you know, better than the archaic 20th century. What I'm saying is that for the talk of the 
23rd century of the original show being much more sophisticated, not as barbaric as the 20th century. That's not really exemplified through the actions and decisions of Captain Kirk. Captain Picard is a more solid representation of how different the 24th century, 100 years after the original show, is compared to some of the past centuries such as the 20th century. He is an example of how much progress has happened between that large amount of time. He's someone that uses everything at his disposal, whether it's diplomacy, having other people weigh in with their thoughts and opinions, or in other cases, if it has to come to it, actual battle. Captain Kirk is a man who people say does get lucky a lot. But honestly, would you really go with a captain that's just lucky a lot? Or would you go with a captain that actually knows what he's doing most of the time? Obviously, when it comes to my voice, my opinion on the matter, Captain Picard is the better Starfleet captain than James T. Kirk. Picard is so much better than Kirk. I mean... Captain Kirk, you're lucky, but... Dude, you should be dead so many goddamn times because you make some of the dumbest decisions. Picard is not flawless, granted. But... He's someone who's more prepared, who actually does think things through as thoroughly and as quickly as possible. He's someone you want leading your team. Kirk really should be more of a first officer, a number one, which I can kind of see through the performance of Riker on Star Trek TNG. So, yeah, in case you missed it, Picard is by far the better Starfleet captain than James D. Kirk. So, that's my opinion on the matter. Yeah, I don't really have much else other than that. Quachi, warp speed, engage. <laughs>